Hi, on the screen at the moment is a sequence of numbers, and you may be asked this problem. What is the nth term of that sequence? Well, let's do some work on it, and, and hopefully that will become clear. If you look at the sequence more closely, you'll see that it goes up by 4 each time. The difference between each successive term is 4. Well, do you know a sequence that goes up by 4 each time? Well, you should do. It's called the 4 times table. 4 times table. Here we are, the first 5 terms of it. They go up by 4 each time. And we could write the 4 times table in this form, 4n, where n is the position number. So the 4th term is 4 4s, the ninth term would be 4 9s, etc, etc. So the, nth, the 4 times table is just 4n. This is a nth term rule for the 4 times table. Well, both sequences go up by 4, but they're not the same sequence. So what can we do to adjust it? Is there anything that we can look at to compare the two sequences? Well, yes, because you should notice that this sequence each time is three times more, three m added on to the uh, four times table. So if we add on three to this rule, then we've got it. Here is our sequence. Now, this is the nth term for the sequence, and we can use the nth term to predict what any term further along in the line is going to be. For instance, the 20th term would be 4 20s plus 3, or 83. The 100th term would be 4 hundreds plus 3, 403. 4n plus 3 is the nth term for that sequence. Let's have a look at some other sequences. Well, here's one. Uh, it goes up by 9 each time. So we would do start off by comparing that with the 9 times table, which is 9n, and see what the difference is. Well, each time I have noticed that these numbers are all 3 less than the 9 times table. So we've got to take 3 away this time. There's our, our nth term for this rule, because each term is got by multiplying the position term by 9 and taking away 3. Let's have a look at some others. Well, this is one which goes up by 2 each time, so we know that's going to be 2n. It's going to be compared with the 2 times table, but I hope you can see we're going to have to add 9 on to each term to make the sequence the same. So this is the nth term for that sequence of numbers. Here's another sequence. Notice this time uh, each term is actually less than the previous term. Each term uh, has 6 taken off it. So it's a sequence which goes down by 6 each time. So what's our, our uh, nth term going to be? Well, we have to compare with the minus 6 times table. It's a strange idea, but the minus 6 times table looks like this. So it's this is a sequence which goes down by 6 each time. What we have to do is compare these. Now, it doesn't take too much to see that the sequence we're looking for, each term is 8 more than the minus 6 times table, so if we add 8 to that, we have our answer, and that's the nth term for that sequence. So sequences might go up or down. This video has been prepared on my applet called uh, Linear Sequences, or Simple Linear Sequences. Uh, you can find it on waldemath.com, and you could play around uh, with the various uh, settings and try and practice until you're really familiar with the idea of these uh, nth term rules. If you look at the whole of the applet, you'll see that on the right is a, a graph which draws the points of each sequence, the first five points of each sequence. And obviously the graph goes down when the sequence is decreasing, in other words going down by a fixed amount each time, and it goes up when it's going up by a fixed amount each time. But the important thing to notice is that always the points are in a straight line. That's why we've used this word linear. Simple linear sequences means simple sequences where the points lie up, line up in a straight line. Linear means straight line.